Go with this 12 package, as you call it, which means two tight ends, Kincaid and Knox on second and two. You have to. Kincaid, since week nine, is second in the NFL in receptions for tight ends. He's come on. To Diggs. Diggs collides with Sneed. The helmet comes off for Bolton, who's back. And he picks up the first down. This is a defense really happy to have Nick Bolton return after five games out with a, a back injury. Yeah, and that's a huge one. I thought in the Packer game, when Cook was out, Tranquil got hurt early, and all of a sudden Bolton, who wasn't playing, you had none of the guys who communicate. So the guys with the headset, get, so you had to kind of stick at some vanilla stuff. And that made it very difficult. Him being back is huge. Let me correct that. It was not back. It was a hand injury. We were here to see it against the Chargers. Here's a first and ten. Emotion's over. No one runs with him. He knows it's zone. Handoff. Cook. Give him two. Very sticky defense. This is one of the best defenses. And Patrick Mahomes right there loves it. He knows there's multiple ways to win. But honestly, Jim, you're giving up 17 points per game. That's the best since 1997 around here. Less than 300 yards. The best since 1995. Steve Spagnola has them rolling. Yeah, they've set some marks, like I said, to go back to the 90s. It's crazy. Second and eight. Down the middle, they go wide open. This could be a touchdown. Touchdown for James Cook. Joe Brady has two or three outstanding play calls today. And Josh Allen with a blitz in his face. But this is just a wonderfully designed play. This is what Kansas City ran all those years. There's three guys over here. You're going to bring a fourth over and then watch the back coming out of the backfield. So hard to match that with your backers. And that was, when Mahomes had 50 touchdowns, that was the play they brought to the league. They brought it back on him. 25th touchdown pass of the season for Josh. And that came from 25 yards out to James Cook. You remember last, last game two weeks ago, yep. it happened early. He dropped one, did Cook. This time he held on a beautiful strike and a score. We're going back to New York with the big update. A thrilling end to overtime. Oh, yeah, Cook, that was a great touchdown catch he had, but how about this? Overtime. Tylen Wallace in a punt return goes 76 yards for the touchdown to win the game. Baltimore 37 31 over the Rams. Back to you, Jim. Exciting stuff. Whew, that was amazing. Wallace and the balance that he showed to end the game. It was like what Xavier Gibson did. Week one against the Bills on a punt return at overtime to close it out. As Cook didn't quite stick to finish, but uh, we'll I mean, give him a lot of high <laughs> marks anyway. That's a 7.4. How about that, though? He looked like a wide receiver. Did. And Steve is sitting there, Spags, going, what happened there? Well, if you pressure, you have one less guy in coverage. And when they have a perfectly designed play call, it's going to get you. By the way, I mentioned the 25 touchdown passes. For Josh Allen, that's four straight seasons with it, at least that many. No other Buffalo quarterback in franchise history had done it in two straight seasons. He's done it four in a row. Well, like I talked about, Kansas City pressured Josh Allen. They've had success in the past, but I don't think that's going to work the same moving forward. And you see Josh Allen, him and Mahomes are just setting records left and right. I mean, like all time, Jim, like their first... 20,000 yards, touchdowns, everything. It's going to be one of those rivalries that uh, they're going to always be tied together, you feel. Yes. And another good decade of that rivalry to go yeah. as the handoff goes. It reminds me of the Marino, Kelly, Elway era, where it was like those were huge games when those guys would play. You throw Burrow in here, you know, it's like, wow. Edwards Alaire getting a lot of early work. Five rushes, one reception. We're going to have the full national audience joining us here in just a matter of seconds. As the Browns were able to defeat the Jags 31 27. That audience is coming in. Second and seven. Almost intercepted. Oh boy, jumping in front was Rasul Douglas. This is the one reason why Kansas City is vulnerable this year. Even though Rice has come on, he's playing. 
the best football from the wide receiver position. To me, the contested one-on-one -on -one, man to man routes. There's really nowhere to throw that. He, he was covered. Douglas does a great job. He had a rough game last week, played amazing against the Jets. Here's Kelsey at the bottom of the screen. Caught one ball so far, third and seven. False start. Turning it into a third and 12. False start, number 11, offense. Five yard penalty, third down. Holmes does a great job with that. On two cadence, white 80, white said, hot, hot. And then all of a sudden, he got his own guy. He to got jump. his best right. Got him to jump. Just the wrong team. Come on in here, friends. Jim Nance, Tony Romo, Tracy Wolfson. It's 7-0 here in the first quarter. Jim Nance, Tony Romo, Tracy Wolfson, and Gene back in the studio observing for any officiating situations that need clarification. Chief second possession, and it's a third and 12. Mahomes has already been sacked once. He unloads it in time here. Gets it to McKinnon. Tries to high step, and he's sliced down by Taron Johnson. It'll take the Kansas City offense off the field and this is a microcosm of the season a little bit for the Chiefs when they lose that penalty it was third and seven for the friends as you said that joined us and they got a penalty to take it back to third and 12 on a false start Kansas City has self-inflicted wounds far too many times this year and it happens in the losses over and over again well they've already turned it over once in this game AJ Epinesa batted the ball and caught it for the pick as Townsend now boots it to Hardy, this time for a catch, which is secured at the 27. Glad to have everyone with us. Quiet a rivalry. What a best game I've ever seen in person. Won by KC in overtime, 42-36. Last year, the Bills winning late on the touchdown pass from Josh to Dawson Knox. This pass off the fingertips of Reed. And again, a lot of the audience just joining us. It's 7-0 on a Josh Allen touchdown pass to James Cook from 25 yards out. And it was Josh who told us last night, meeting with him, that in his mind, it, it's playoff time right now. 100%. I mean, this is as big a game as Buffalo's had all year. I mean, they're right there. We told the early audience that they're going to lose every tiebreaker. If they get to 9-8, and eight, that ain't going to be good enough. They've got to go 4-1 and one to get in this. And having a win today would go a long way. Got a second and 10. And a run with Cook and a big opening. A nice piece of running for about 12. Deion Dawkins helped clear the way for him. Dawkins playing great this year, but Cook is so impressive. I want you to watch Cook and his ability to cut back and sense, feel, and then boom, right here, and he shoots through the hole. He's got a really unique gift. He's tall, long, but he's explosive. He just caught a seam route for a touchdown. Not every running back can do that. And that's what makes Buffalo dangerous, Jim, is their ability to run the ball and utilize him. You said it on the touchdown. He looked like a wide receiver. They've got Ty Johnson now in the game in the backfield. He's able to catch that pitch. He's a little outside, and he's able to scamper for about six. Now, after the early window and the complete games, well, Baltimore winning on that punt return in overtime, but for two spots at the moment for the wild card. That's how thick it is, and you got to stay up with them. As Johnson able to stay on his feet to pick up the first down. Well, and there's so many reasons why this is a huge game. You just mentioned it. There's, this is just so many teams who are right in the thick of it. But Kansas City, Mahomes has never played on the road in a playoff game. Isn't that amazing? Neutral site, yes. Road, no. No, and that's such a difference. And I'm telling you, this game will go a long way if you're a Chiefs fan for determining if he has to or not. And for Buffalo, you're obviously fighting for the playoff lives. First down on the two runs by Ty Johnson. Who stays in there. Here comes the pressure. Nice little pirouette by Allen to get away. Four chasing him. And he's just able to throw it away. McDuffie was the first to get in his face. McDuffie does a great job of timing these pressures. He's the outside corner. He plays in the slot a bunch. But I want you to watch on the top of your screen out here. When you get into these cut splits, great job by Josh making him a miss. And a really smart play throwing this away. Because there was a few guys he could have tried. <laughs> that doesn't happen to McDuffie very often. But the cut splits, Jim... 
That means when the receivers are tight, the outside corner can blitz like a linebacker. Arriving late onto that line is Derek Noddy. And timeout called by the Chiefs. They could not get the substitution in on time, so they went ahead and took the timeout. And we'll be back in 30 seconds after this.